Hello and welcome to another video. And in this video, I'll be teaching you how to make a pretty cool cop outfit, in my opinion. Um, well, it can be a cop outfit or it can just be really any outfit. So, um, I've already made a few. Um, this right here I call uh, Officer Porker. Um, basically, um, there are some requirements. You can't do this on every single outfit, but you can make some really cool ones with what you can put the belt on. So yeah, you can get this really cool police belt. And this is like definitely the easiest belt to get in the game. And it actually looked really cool. It's got like those little keys down there. Um, also be teaching you how to get the FIB badge. Um, yeah, along with the IA badge. So we have Officer Parker right here, but we have the police right here. So this is like my city one. It comes with the belt and everything. Um, this is the best I could make it because there's certain requirements. You have to have a certain pair of pants. You can only use certain t-shirts. But yeah, look at this. And then this one's for the country. I think these look really nice. Um, this looks like I'm wearing a black cap, but I'm not. It's just because I'm in the shadow. I'm wearing a khaki cap right now. But yeah, I can make ones for both of these. This is Sheriff for the FIB. has the FIB badge. And... This one has an IAA badge, so I made an IAA and an FIB one because um, I wanted to. Um, I don't know why. But yeah, um, there are two types of belts that are really easy to get. Um, one type is the type I'm wearing right now, the prison guard belt, which actually looks really cool and in my opinion looks good. So, first of all, requirements start off with you're going to need number one, the peach plate clay the peach plate carrier number two you're gonna need heist coveralls and number three um well number three you're gonna have to complete the lamar missions i suppose because the lamar missions are the only way to get this done so for the lamar missions um you don't have to do it's a g thing um, I'm not even done with the Lamar missions. I'm still on the second Lamar mission right here. Um, it's called like slow and low or something. So, uh, if you have not done the Lamar missions, or if you have done, if you've done the Lamar missions, start up slow and low, and you'll will be at the same process. But if you have not done the uh, Lamar missions like at all. Then you're going to see like a little Lamar L sign down here. You're going to need three friends to do this. Or if you're lucky, and I mean you're lucky, you get three people to stay and actually fully complete the mission. And then you'll move on to the second mission and then you won't need anyone anymore. Actually, it's not true. You will need someone. But there are ways to bypass that. So yeah, um, there's two belts that are really easy to get that work for this. So yeah, um, let's go and move with it. I recommend either starting off with like plain clothes like this or if you want like the IAA badge to like be forged into the outfit because the badge doesn't go away but if you want the uh, IAA badge to stay there then uh, yeah I'd recommend getting this outfit and how to get this outfit is well pretty simple um, I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of videos on it. Uh, they're new videos, obviously. Simple explanation, go to ULP, um, go over there, start up the mission, doesn't matter which one. As long as you can change outfits to the uh, IAA outfits, there's four to choose from and all four of them have this little badge on it. It doesn't really matter if that matters to you or not. Go over there, all the missions I'm pretty sure have an IAA. Nope, not all of them. I think the last one has a uh, different outfit selection screen, but I'm already done all the ULP missions, so it'll just you just do the random first one or whatever. Don't do the last one because that one doesn't have the IAA one. So then go do any of the other missions. Go ahead and go to that outfit. Go ahead and go to style. Choose any IAA outfit. Style, player mood. Switch between this for around 30 seconds, or just hold it normal hold it and then once you have this um you're gonna want to let's see 
stay on the screen, keep everything like this, then go ahead and just go to your main menu, or just sit here on the screen until you go AFK, it really does not matter, but just make sure your character stays like this, and when you load back in, you still have the outfit on, and I recommend saving that to a save slot, and using it as like kind of like a basis for your other clothes that come with the IAA badge. So yeah, um, you guys are wondering about that. Um, some more detailed videos on that, obviously, so you guys can look at those. But, um, for this, I don't know if I want an IAA basis. Do I want one? I could have one. Oh, let's, let's go for a... Should I go for a plain basis? I think I should go for a plain basis. Let's think about this. The FIB outfits don't come with like a, uh, what do you call it, a badge. So getting the FIB badge is a completely different situation. It's pretty easy. Um, basically what you want to do is you want to head over to your arcade. Then you want to start up a casino house for 25k. Then what you want to do is you want to choose any of the three like methods. It does not matter, any of the three methods. So scope out the casino, choose a method. And all of that should take no less than like 10 minutes if you're being smart about it. So it should not take that long. And then once that's done, you'll get to like the second planning board. And then you'll head over there and then go to hacking device. And you should spawn in with a suit. And if you do not spawn in with a suit, then you want to find a new session, go back to your arcade, keep on trying until you get into a suit. Then you're going to want to go, when you have the suit, to your nearest clothing store. Then you're going to want to choose the outfit which you want to put the badge on, which by the way you have to save the outfit. And you need to keep it that same way, because you can't alter the uh, outfit anymore once the badge is on it or else the badge will disappear. So choose the outfit you want it to be on. And then go over to the location, kill everybody, get the FIB badge, it should be on your neck, head to the nearest gun store, not clothing store, a gun store, save it, then, basically you can either complete it or you can just leave. I recommend just quit, like, leaving the job or, like, finding a new session, that way you have, like, a constant, well, like, way to get the FIB badge, like, I'm still on it, and I don't need to do the casino heist, because obviously there's other ways, but yeah, um, you just basically, I, I recommend keeping it, and just, like, finding a new session, and not completing the whole mission, finding a new session, and basically, you can get yourself a pretty nice FIB badge, uh, that's the IE outfit, but that does not matter at this point, so, um, you can use any basis for this, it does not really matter, Let's see. Let's see. So I actually need to do this in certain locations. Okay, now let's talk about more requirements or extra things that might help. So, um, for some reason, I, I don't know if I could describe this correctly, this hasn't always gone well for me, but I think I have it hands down trying a few things first of all if you want to make sure you don't spawn in with a different saved outfit because doing this glitch makes you have to like make a saved outfit in order to like save it onto it so sometimes you'll load in with like a completely weird mixed and matched outfit that you like don't have for some reason and like one time i i spawned in with a clown mask and like a suit which is obviously not the outfit i chose for the mod not the mod, but the glitch. It, it wasn't the outfit I chose for the glitch, that's the point. So, a way to bypass that is to have the first three slots empty. And you're going to want to put your new outfit in slot number one. You can change this outfit and you can edit it around its slots, obviously, and you can fill these two after you've made the outfit. It's very important that you keep these three to guarantee that the uh, glitch works properly and you, you know, do it correctly. So basically, I'm going to use the IAA outfit for this, but tops, tops, you have to have something that works with the, what do you call it? You have to have something that works 
with the freaking oh yeah the uh, carriers you have to have something that allows you to put a carrier on so that's the only restriction for the shirt is you have to be able to put the carrier on it I've already made one of those so a tux service shirt and service shirts seem to work I believe so not too sure but for this you can either have no shirt or you can have a shirt um, I would recommend putting on the uh, one that you were thinking of using you were thinking of using then going down to your utility vest you can go ahead and buy this number 43 and seeing if you can put the peach plate carrier on it if you can then the main top won't change you see how like if I wanted to put on the desert camo fishing vest I'd have to put on a regular t-shirt but since I'm able to put on the carriers then you should be able to do this it's very important that you choose the peach plate carrier it's the only one that works for some reason so um, I'm wearing a very military outfit like looks nice and the beachway carrier will be out of the question so you just have to deal with it being there for now um so what you gotta do is you gotta choose something a t-shirt that has the beachway carrier on it or can have it then once you choose a shirt that has the ability for the beachway carrier then you go to your pants and you can only have cargo pants because only cargo pants can hold the belt sure what outfit I want to create hmm. gray woodland gray woodland I like matching outfits so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get a gray woodland one I can't cut clips so I'll put a timestamp on the screen for when I get the full outfit because I don't actually have the pants for this I did not at all plan this so if you guys want to you can go ahead and skip to that part but uh yeah can only have cargo pants or modded pants but most of us should have cargo pants Also, I forgot to mention, but it is very important that you have no head accessories. So I'm actually going to have to remove this. I didn't even, I almost forgot about it, but don't have any accessories for your head. And also don't have a watch. You can have gloves. It's the only exception. Just gloves. Pants. I'm going to go to cargo pants. Woodland cargo. That looks nice. Imagine this looks very military. I like it, like it, like it. Black plain high tops. Shoes do not matter. Um, as long as the shoes can go on the cargo pants, they're good. Then any gloves will do. Uh, this is very military. I love I'm loving this look so far. Get your gloves. Um Gloves don't matter, but I want to choose something nice. Maybe we can choose like an all matching outfit, that'd be nice. Let's see. 
Ah, damn it. There's no matching gloves for this. Nah, that works. That works, that works. Um, no accessories on the head, obviously. Okay. A badge, get everything on, peach plate carrier. Alright, and then go over here. Make sure to save this as well, whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter, but it just needs to be number one slot to make it easier to access. I'm gonna call this the military off. military officer because he's gonna have like a little thing around his thing well yeah find it. you can guys skip you guys can skip by, by the way just in case you're wondering oh, do I need touch shirts that work for this I want to find one that's tucked, because those look good. By the way, if you have like a regular t-shirt that like droops down kind of, part of the belt will be covered. It's a little bit annoying, so I, I suggest getting a tucked shirt. Most of the tucked shirt, the uh, tucked service shirts that are like regular work pretty well. Let's go with this one. This does not look half bad. The black shirt tucked. Yeah, let's go with this. This is a little like a bad combo. I'll just go with it. I might not be wearing it, but it looks nice. Okay. Yeah, I got it all. So you don't have to do what I'm doing, by the way. You just have to have cargo pants, have shoes to go with the cargo pants, as long as they go with them. A shirt that can carry the peach plate carrier. No hat accessories and any pair of gloves you would like. So yeah, um, let's go ahead and do that. This is uh, good. Confirm we got that there. Yeah, we got that. Once that's done, you're gonna want to go change over to here. Scroll down. And I already talked about this earlier, but here's the uh, coveralls. So any of the last four work because they all have a mask. Does not matter. And uh, you should be able to afford it. It's it's a couple thousand. So then, let's see. It's very important that you head to this exact gun store. I don't know why, but it only works on that gun store. Oh, nope, nope, wrong thing, wrong thing. Excuse me, I'm, I went a few steps ahead. Go and head to the pier or just any place that has a. No, okay. Or just any place that has a. What do you call it? Uh, a telescope. To, uh, look through and then you're gonna want to do the uh, telescope glitch which I'm sure if you're watching this video you've probably done at least once before and if you haven't it's pretty self-explanatory and after a couple tries you can usually get it get a little bit of practice it's not too difficult come across here there you go the mask and the Patriot carrier are going to go away see I failed at this I have to do a few more times. Also, you're gonna need to have like a thousand bucks. I recommend having a thousand bucks in your like cash. That way you can like do this as many times as it takes, but it does not usually take that much. But you're gonna want to go to the outfit you chose. And then you should see the mask spawn onto your face. Then here's the part where you go to the gun store. I want to step ahead earlier. 
I don't care about the well-being of my oppressor. So yeah, the mask and this thing will disappear. So you're good. Then you're gonna want to come across here. Also, if you're wearing any face paint, this might help as an indicator to see if the glitch worked. If you're wearing any face paint. See, I'm wearing some Joker face paint. So right now, my head is like, uh, I have black hair right now for my like hair color. If you're wearing any face paint, this only applies to you. But if you're not, then you can just figure it out, I guess. Um, so this is saved. Make sure this is saved. And to confirm that it was saved, you want to scroll in between these. And you see how the back of my head turned into the color of my face paint? So if you're wearing any face paint, or if you just want to get some face paint to indicate that it actually worked. So if your head does not like change to your face paint color, then that means it did not work. But if you have a face paint, then that works for you, just as an indicator to make sure that this worked. Then what you're gonna wanna do is everyone should have this job. Jobs, play jobs, Rockstar created, missions, a Titan of a job should be one of the first. Should have done it, it's pretty easy. A Titan of a job. Go over there to Titan of job. Normal. Also, I do recommend um, having your spawn location to last location. So make sure you do that. As you can see, the uh, Peach Play Carrier should have disappeared. If it doesn't, then it didn't work and you have to keep on doing it. And if you did everything the way I did, then you should be able to do this, get this result without the Peach Play Carrier. Basically the same outfit, press square, save this as your new outfit. And make sure it actually saved by like previewing these outfits. And now that that's saved, Go over your phone, click on job list, plus square if you're on PlayStation. I don't know about Xbox, then quit the job. Then you should load back in with that new outfit. And no, you can't just take off the Peach Weight Carrier. And that does not count, that for some reason it doesn't work. Believe me, I tried it, but this is the only way that works for me personally. Also, you can't change the shoes once you get the belt on. So, what you're going to want to do is going to... Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. I'm not... I have memory loss. Stupid. So, um, you can change the gloves and everything after you get the belt on, but just not the pants. So you gotta choose that carefully. Um, then, since this is an outfit I'm gonna wear, just just as like an example. Um, let's see. So now you're gonna want to find the outfit that has the belt on it. So, some outfits that include belts, so I recommend going to the Diamond Casino section for the Prison Guard belt, uh, the uh, Groupie Sacks belt, or the Maintenance belt. Maintenance belt, um, you could do that if you wanted to, um, it doesn't matter. Um, you could do any outfit that includes a belt, uh, that's how it works, so... You could do the Groupie belts, or the... Sorry for it, just don't come with a belt. Or you could do the prison guard belt, which is the one I just showed you just earlier. But since I haven't done the groupie sacks one, but I know they work the same, we'll go ahead and do that. Um, let me buy the cheapest one here, since obviously I'm not going to wear this, but it'll be cool that I have, I guess you could say. Make sure the outfit's saved, by the way. Don't save this outfit, I mean the other outfit. Then what you're gonna wanna do is, if you have completed the Lamar missions, then you're gonna wanna go to your missions, go to, no, 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 okay, no, 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 no. You're gonna wanna go to jobs, you're gonna start up, it's a G thing, or slow and low, it does not matter. Lamar missions seem to work just fine. Personally, I just figured out about this not too long ago, and I never even did the Lamar missions. I was kinda stupid, I mean, I kinda got carried when I first got into GTA, and I never had to do Lamar missions. But, you're gonna have to do either two or three. Two or three are the only ones I know of that work, but there might be more. Uh, Lamar mission two or three. Lamar mission two is um, slow and low, and Lamar mission three is, it's a G thing. But, um, if you completed the whole and all of his missions, then you should be able to get it from the missions tab. If you haven't, uh, done any of his then you have to go down here you'll see an L then you have to do that it requires four people so you need three people to join you or you can get three strangers which is a 
pretty lucky thing to happen, so it's most likely not gonna happen. But yeah, then you're just gonna wanna go to over here to slow and low once you get the first one done. Um, I'm not, I'm not even gonna bother doing the whole Lamar series, but um, this might be different for you if you've done the whole Lamar series. I'm gonna start up slow and low. Oh, wrong. Oh shit. Okay. Um, slow and low is the wrong move. Okay. I'm gonna start up a uh, private chat real quick because I don't want uh, the people to uh, hear me. Real, because you know that that would be weird. Okay. You guys should be able to still hear me. But basically, make sure you're on last location. If you're if you're doing what I'm doing, like this, then you're gonna want to stay on last location. Find your session. Make sure it's public load in or you can keep it on private and just invite one friend because for this mission you only need one friend or just one random person i'm doing it with a random person because i have zero friends but um yeah so we're gonna go ahead and uh do this basically this works for any outfit that has a belt on it so personally i want to get more outfits that have belts but um yeah this works for all of them and this is up to date. The newest method still works. All the other old methods were like versus mode, but that got removed so long ago. These missions, however, will not be removed because they're like kind of like a key part of the story. So chances are this ain't gonna change. But you're gonna want to load in. Should spawn relatively close to the, to the location you were. Um, then you're gonna wanna come up here. Also, make sure you remove any headpiece from the... Remove the headpiece, because obviously you can buy the headpiece at the mask store if that's really what you want. Remove the headpiece, remove any pieces for the head, also remove any gloves. Um, then you're good. You're in the public. Okay. Enter the slow and low. Then make sure to change this to player saved outfits. No, I'm not listening to music. Player saved music, I mean outfits. Open. Just get one person to join or invite a friend. Oh god, somebody. One. One thousand? Holy shit. Oh my god. One thousand. I don't know who this man is, but he just volunteered to join. One thousand two hundred? Holy shit. Okay, he must be doing the glitch, because there ain't no way he's fucking. Oh, and change to his outfit. Military outfit. If he's doing the glitch, then, uh. Pops to him for joining. <laughs> I don't know if it works the same way if you join somebody, but I know it works if you host it yourself. Then, the moment you load in, just make sure to quit the job. Quit the job, this is very important. Very important. Then, when you load back in, which we will in a minute or two or three or four or five, I don't know how long it'll take, but hopefully it shouldn't take too long. You should load in, and what you want to do is you want to find a car that has the top off. Um, for some reason, it doesn't work in a closed car. That's just my personal experience. You can do it in a closed car. Make sure it's a pedestrian vehicle, by the way. Um, but for me, it's only ever worked in an open-roofed car or a convertible that can have an open roof. So you need to put in open roof mode. For some reason, it just doesn't work in a regular car. But you're gonna want to find an open roofed one just to be safe. I recommend. Let's see. Oh god. Yeah, this is violent. Holy shit. Holy, holy shit. Oh wow. Wow, that is violent. Okay. Um. I can. Um, you can find a new session if you don't have any luck. Um, my oppressor's probably screwed, um... Oh, 
what you're going to do is you're going to head over here to any convertible car or just a no roofed car. This has no roof, so this is good. Um, register as a CEO, and if you can't register as a CEO, find a new session until you find one that like doesn't have like full CEO. Management style. Scroll one to the right, and then as you're leaving, scroll to the left, and boom! You got yourself a brand new belt, and this works with any outfit that comes with the belt standard. And it looks pretty cool in my opinion. Just looking at this, keep the belt. Make sure you save this, go to any store slash any place that you can save this to. Replace the old one with this one. And boom, you got yourself the outfit plus the belt. If this video helped anyone, really any at all, I please ask for a like and subscribe. And you can always unsubscribe later if you want to. It's free. So yeah, um, see you guys in the next video.